Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're gonna to check it out the latest Mid Journey, which is the Mid Journey 5. And we're gonna explore the latest updates and some new crazy futurists. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to access Mid Journey 5. All you need to do is type in slash settings, type in enter, enter. And here we are in the settings. You can see right now I'm on Mid Journey 4 and I'm gonna jump on Mid Journey 5. Five. Now the thing is with Mid Journey 5, if you are not subscribed, if you didn't pay for a plan, then basically you cannot use the Mid Journey 5. You know, there's like the free trial version where you can generate like 25 images for free. That is not the case with Mid Journey 5. You cannot do that only if you pay for a subscription. All right, so let's address the biggest issue with Mid Journey. Basically, the hands cannot get it right. It always messes up. It does some weird stuff with the fingers, you know, or it adds six, eight fingers, or it just tangles them up. It never gets it right. So in Mid Journey 5, they did a pretty good update. So I also tested out. We got here a glamorous blonde model with blue eyes sitting on a chair dressed in elegant clothes, Rococo. And here you can see everything is fine so far. And I also tried to challenge it like like holding a pot of peony flowers or whatever. But the main idea is I wanted to see if the AI can make it that the model can hold something. In this situation, instead of flowers, it's holding a, a cup of tea. But anyways, we got like multiple examples. This one came out pretty bad. Here it is actually holding it correctly. And then I also try it out with uh, holding a cup of tea. And let's see the results. Again, it's trying its best. So these are like more different scenarios basically. But in some cases it can succeed. This one came out actually pretty decent. Oh, by the way, I also tried out the hands showing the peace sign. And of course, instead of the peace sign, it always tried to add like three fingers instead of two. And then I also tried out showing middle finger just like that. And you can see it adds the peace sign, you know, this way it's gonna show you the peace sign. So that's a weird hack in there, but you know, it's still a work in progress and this is a huge improvement already. By the way, speaking of bad fingers, they also fixed the car spoke wheels check this out it's like perfect this is basically an update that nobody told but look at the wheels everything is perfect before that in mid journey 4 all the spokes were like badly composed it was like a bad ugly painting you know it was like inconsistent but now everything looks really really clean they also did a really cool update basically you can upscale images instantly so check this out i just gonna click for example on the second click Boom, there you go. It upscaled instantly. I can up also upscale the fourth. One, two, two seconds. Now they also improved the quality of the images a lot. And they also added like subtle textures. You can see the skin textures now. Now they also decreased the resolution. It's not uh, 2040 by 2040 anymore. It's like way smaller. Also, you don't need to use realistic prompts because Mid Journey 5 is just gonna do it by default. So let's check it out. Imagine portrait of a blonde German model, AR 2x3. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna upscale the second. Wow. So this looks really stunning. You can see the details, everything is perfect. And you don't need to write complex prompts in order to achieve these super realistic looks. It's gonna do it by default. There's like another important update that uh, keywords won't work that good anymore. You need to write out proper sentences in order to make this work. But that's even better because you can use chat GPD and you can assemble some really good sentences and so that way you can type those prompts in. I also use chat GPD and type in some really nice prompts. And not but least is the aspect ratio. Basically you can set any sort of aspect ratio you want. For example, if you wanna type in one colon 20, you can do that. You can make it really wide, you can make it really tall. You know, just experiment with that. So these were the updates. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you made it through. And if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.